All right, so I know I've been incredibly negative towards Nintendo lately, been very pissed with their decision making and how they like to do things. My previous video I made was, you know, obviously very negative about Nintendo's way of releasing games and just business decisions, I guess, in general. I've criticized in the past and while I still stand by those statements, I don't want to like, you know, I, I kind of feel like talking a bit more like positively today about something Nintendo related to kind of make up with that. And the perfect opportunity for that, I think I really just want to talk about Metroid Dread for a bit and how excited I am for it, despite not really getting into the Metroid series that much at all. Like, this is probably the most excited I've been for a Nintendo game in a good while. Was it last year? Like, probably the Nintendo game I was most interested in was Paper Mario the Origami King, and that was kind of it. But this, I am absolutely stoked for, and I, I just, I just want to talk all about it. I want to talk about, you know, how I hope it does well, and how I'm gonna be buying it, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about all that today. So I guess before that, I kinda wanna get into like just the general hype around this game. Like this game was absolutely probably the biggest reveal at Nintendo's E3. I mean, Breath of the Wild 2 was a thing. They showed gameplay for that, but just the fact that like, Metroid Dread is a thing is incredible. Like, I didn't really know about the history behind Metroid Dread until, you know, I saw other people's excitement over it and how crazy everybody's going for this game right now. And honestly, I'm right there with them after doing, like, my research on this game and seeing the whole history behind it. Like, seriously, this game has, like, top sales charts already. Apparently, this is, like, a bestseller on Amazon already, which is honestly incredible. Like, the Metroid games never really sold this well before. Actually, I don't know how well Samus Returns sold, but it's never really reached super high sales numbers. So, the fact that this one is already in, like, the best-selling Amazon is really exciting for Metroid and I hope this game sells even better. Anyway, uh, enough about the whole sales and stuff, but um, the history behind this game, like, it, it's really fascinating. So, there's a video on the official Nintendo YouTube channel talking about the development history of Metroid Dread. I haven't really looked into it. Maybe I have in the past, but I kind of forgot about it until looking at all the hype behind this game. So, this game has apparently been in development and then it got cancelled, and then it like resumed development again, like after a new Nintendo console came out, but they canned it again because it, the system just wasn't powerful enough for them to fully execute their ideas. And so the fact that all these years later, when the Switch is finally a thing, and they finally are able to execute this idea, I honestly think that's super cool that they've been waiting all this time and delaying this game just to see when the right time for it is. And they decide, you know, like, after the developers, Mercury Steam, did a good job with the Samus Returns remake, and how they were finally the ones to put Metroid Dread to life. And I, I just think that's awesome. So yeah, I just find it super cool that they've really stuck with this idea for a Metroid game for all this time. And now they're finally putting it to life. Like, it totally seems like that this game would be something like they forget about and you know they never execute but the fact that like it's real and they actually have been planning on doing it this whole time is honestly just amazing and I'm super glad they waited too because this game just this game looks amazing one thing I really wanted to talk about is like the tone of this game. Now I'm very fascinated by like the tone of this game from what I've gotten from like the trailers. Metroid Dread is like a very fitting title because I really like the idea of like, at first I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird that they're having like robots and stuff in Metroid, that's kind of odd. But the more I look at it, it's actually, I, act I think it's actually super cool because, because honestly, it really fits the Dread name because the the Emmy robots, it, it actually makes the game like look kind of freaky and like a horror vibe almost and I really like that. 
is seen in like the Emmy and or like they're invincible and all that stuff and there's like no way to kill them or at least for the most part so I, I just find that super cool how they wanted to wait until the technology was powerful enough because the Emmy like it really they really look like really creepy in the right ways it's like they kind of crawl around like aliens yet they're like robots and they move around like robots like I just think it's super cool and I really like how they're making it feel like the Emmy is like this really big threat. I don't know the whole story and stuff behind it because like I said, I never really got too into the Metroid series, but you know, I just I just think it's super cool in general. Also, I think the game looks really great for a Switch game. I mean, some people have complained about how it looks, but I I think it looks super cool. Like the animations and stuff, like they make the game look creepy. Also, the game running at 60 frames per second, I think that also looks super sick. Uh, I'm glad they got it running at that frame rate, at least for the most part, looks like it. But but it, it looks like they're using all of the, the Switch's like graphical capabilities to its max. For this game and i think i think it looks awesome for that and i also like how from what i've seen it, it doesn't look like it's just the robot stuff like there's also parts with you know the typical like metroid like alien stuff that you're used to so that's pretty cool how is you know it's not just the emmy you're fighting because if if it was that probably get pretty stale but yeah seeing just how like the development of these metroid games are being developed it makes me it reminds me of like why i like nintendo so much in the first place despite all my problems with them i just find it really cool that they've cared enough to like wait until the right technology to execute like their ideas and also with metroid prime 4 despite how people how upset people were with the delay of it you know, I'm really glad that they, like, they, while that game was being developed, they looked at it and they really just weren't proud with it. So they decided to restart from development. I mean, it's development issues, but, you know, I'm glad that they're, like, willing enough to recognize if a game doesn't look good enough. So they're willing to completely redo the whole thing just so that way it's as good as it can be it shows that like they're not just disappointed in it but they put it out anyway it's like no it seems like they're re they really care about what they're doing with metroid and i just i really really like to see that every time i see metroid news it honestly puts a smile on my face because you know it shows that like they know how big metroid is to a lot of people so i, I think it's cool that they're like wanting to make it the best it can be and stuff like that just made it just makes me really happy knowing that they're putting all of this respect and care into metroid despite the series not being around for a long time so yeah it, it's honestly why i'm i'm never really too upset about delays unless if they're just unnecessary because usually delays always mean for the most part that the game is gonna improve with the delay i i i made a video a long time ago about why i don't mind delays for games usually when it comes to nintendo games i'm usually pretty happy when a game gets delayed because it means you know they're trying to make it the best it can be and, and you know in the current state that the game is in it like it's not ready i usually don't mind when uh, nintendo games get delayed so i guess there is one thing about metroid dread that i am a little bit nervous about and honestly it's that i really hope they don't show too much of the game before release like the game is coming out very soon it's coming out this october surprisingly which is shocking because you'd expect something like this to come out like 2022 at the very least but no this game is pretty much finished they're just kind of doing fixing stuff and doing final touches to the game for these next few months which is pretty surprising um but but yeah my biggest fear is that i just i hope they don't reveal too much of the game so when you play it know everything you're getting into like i hope they don't show like i hope they don't show like a bunch of the bosses or show a bunch of different types of emmy assuming that there are different types of emmy i hope they just don't reveal all of that stuff 
Like, I, I want them to keep a lot of things secret. Now, of course, I could always just not watch the trailers, but it's like, when you're excited for a game, you're gonna want to watch the trailers and what news is available for the game, so I'm just hoping that, like, they don't reveal, like, a bunch of end game stuff, like, before the game is released, so that's honestly my biggest fear with this whole thing. I, I just hope they don't show, like, stuff like right before the final boss or something or different types of emmy because i want to be like i want to be scared and intrigued and fascinated by what the game has to offer and i don't want to find all that out through trailers honestly if a new trailer releases like for metroid dread i'm i might not watch it because i don't want this game to like be ruined for me so yeah that's honestly like my only fear for metroid dread i just hope they don't reveal too much of it to where when you play it you pretty much already knew everything that was going to happen and all the surprises are just kind of gone but yeah metroid dread just in general i think it looks fantastic like honestly i think it's probably the most excited i've been for a switch game in a good while like other stuff like they announced this e3 looks cool like warioware get it together looks pretty cool Mario Party Superstars looks like it's doing things right for the most part. Breath of the Wild 2 does look very interesting, but we don't really know enough about that game to really be sure if it's going to be amazing or not. So. so, yeah, this game I'm easily, like, the most excited for for a Nintendo game currently. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be buying it day one. I'm also I'm honestly gonna be playing Pride. I'm probably gonna be playing the other 2D Metroid games before this comes out because even though they said like the game fills you in on the story up to Metroid Dread and how it apparently can be your first Metroid game, I'm probably not gonna do that. I I wanna I wanna know like the full details of what happens before Metroid Dread, so yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I want to be, I kind of want to know what's going on, like, in the story up to that point, Metroid Dread, so. I've rambled for quite a while about Metroid Dread. Let me know what you guys think of Metroid Dread uh, in the comments. Are you guys stoked for it like I am? Uh, are you a long-time Metroid fan? Are you just now wanting to get into the series, kind of like I am? Uh, now that you're intrigued by this game, let me know, because I'm ex super excited for this game, and I want to play a bunch of the Met- I want to I wanna really get into the Metroid series before I play this game, so. So, yeah. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Excited for Metroid Dread? Do you think it looks disappointing? Yeah, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this more positive video on Nintendo. I know I like to be very negative about their business decisions and even some of their games but but now nah, this one i'm feeling very confident about and i'm just every time i hear about it it just makes me more happy you know just to see all the hype and how it seems like they're really caring about this game so yeah anyway uh thanks for watching i'll talk to you all later see ya